Nobody likes Reddit videos, they're literally below everybody. Indubitably, and Reddit videos are god awful, the lowest common denominator. <laughs> yeah, I'm using a tape gun as a gun to kill innocent people. It's my god given right! Jesus! And I'm born to be an American where I know things are free Free of racism and slavery and equality Now if there's a common denominator happening in the world right now in this current state of protesting against the Black Lives Matter movement There's people that don't know how to react properly People that like to chime in on their own narrative and make the problems of the ones that are hurting for generations and generations to make it about themselves. Now within all the seriousness and the racism happening with the police brutality of uh, George Floyd, donation link down in the description, I've stumbled across a brilliant, brilliant subreddit called r slash small dick problems. <laughs> Now, ultimately off the bat, if anyone from this subreddit comes towards me, it is because you have a small penis. So let's just rule that out right now, that maybe, you know, all your anger and frustration from your small penis should be worked upon yourself, within yourself, and not towards and directed at me, okay? <laughs> Full warning, everything that I'm about to read right now is probably horrifically graphic and is talking about someone's really, really small penis. And ultimately, you shouldn't be surprised that someone with a small little tallywhacker is getting angry about not being able able to be the big black strong guy that they jack off to. The lowest denominator of any content is of course making reddit videos but I make an exception with this one because when I think about reddit I think about these subreddits where it's angry little boys being angry that they're little boys. <laughs> Having a small dick is racist now. Racism is small dick energy. Now this is where most of the spirals from is from the singular post that see people saw on the news. My day is ruined. Just saw a sign on the protest in the US that said racism is small dick energy. I'm all up for standing up for black people equality, but why do we need to get insulted left and right? Same shit every time I open social media. People legit compare us to racist people for fuck's sake. Fair point. Racism is small dick energy. It's a post I saw in someone's story on Instagram. I don't know about you all, but I'm also against racism. Never liked it, never have or will. But now we are being associated with racists. I still fight alongside this battle. And it's very harsh to know that this is what people think of me, us. As a liberal and supporter of equal rights, it's hard to want to identify with the people who claim to be liberal and want equality. I almost feel ashamed identifying as a liberal or a supporter for equality when you have a literal like this. I honestly feel like I'm supporting them by claiming that I'm liberal. I feel the exact same way when some of their protesters are vandalizing and destroying property of small businesses. <sighs> This is an amazing world I've discovered. This particular post was brigaded by Twitter dwelling. You claim to be a liberal, <laughs> but yet we're using slurs around the place. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not all the way there, especially if you're comparing your small dick size and your insecurity about your small dick size to real life problems. The post below is most likely where the influx of trolls are coming from. Oh, it's this one. The responses are disheartening. It's hard to believe that people actually think like this. Well, <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it? I feel like most people that are looking at these posts about you comparing your small dick sizes to you know, actual racism and, and world-like issues where people have been treated poorly and badly for eons. You know, you might be twisting one or two straws that you're trying to grasp. I'm starting to think that these people protesting the people who are so angry about George Floyd and all other murders of recent black men by the police are like these brain-dead Twitter accounts. The irony. <laughs> The irony is uh, it's all over the place. The reason I haven't protested out there for the past few nights is because I generally don't want to be associated with behavior displayed above. And I can't help think that most protesters out there are like this. I'll be editing this post to add some extra gems from the Twitter post. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> 
Let's have a look then. Let's have a look what everyone's saying. Come on. I wonder how pissed they'll be if I told them I've been on estrogen for nine months and I'm still probably have a bigger dick than them. <laughs> The funniest thing about this and what their replies are completely missing. Being hurt and upset by this enough to go cry on Reddit is precisely small dick energy. The irony, thank you. I mean, I have what would be considered a micro penis, trans guy vibes, but referring to racism as small dick energy isn't incorrect or body shaming. Peace, brother. You can have small dick, but have big dick energy. For instance, standing up for black lives. This guy has small dick energy, though. He stands up for black people's equality, though. You've made a contradicting statement there, my guy. That doesn't correlate at all. He should have stayed worried about black lives rather than a small jab at a... <laughs> Penis sizes. I, I love how like these are supposed to be like the damning evidence of like how brain dead Twitter accounts are that are trying to justify the post that this has. You aren't killed for having a small dick like you could be for having a black skin. What? Th this is just making the post look better. What is happening here? <laughs> Truly the most oppressed. If you're not racist, you have a mid to large dick. It's simple science. I think the entire irony of the small dick energy post that has everyone upset in this small dick problem subreddit, it really just explodes the mentality of small dick energy. <laughs> Angry little men controlled by their entire lives by their small little tiny microscopical baby little small M&M &M penis. I really love the idea of people being insanely insulted that a science said uh, it's small dick energy. Because ultimately off the bat, these soft cock little peen-eyed boys are very uh, sensitive about the small size of their penis so much that they don't understand the mannerisms of the small dick energy meme that circled around last year. <laughs> Devoting all problems aside with the current state of uh, the unfairness and police brutality, they ultimately have made this about themselves and their very, very small penises. <laughs> Another celeb posting about small D energy? Kristen Bell just put one of those stupid signs in her Instagram stories. Just imagine someone protesting with a sign saying something about small boob energy. The hypocrisy is unreal. Okay, um... <laughs> These are the people on Reddit. This is why I avoid Reddit. All the times is why I avoid Reddit. At every fucking instance, if I can avoid Reddit, these are the people as to why I avoid Reddit. So let's move away why the small little penis boys are upset how the, the protests aren't about them. And let's move on to uh, some other related posts in this amazing little thread. We have it the worst. I really like this girl and I think she likes me too. I'm scared to get in a relationship because I'm insecure about my dick size. We all have it the worst being small down there, especially nowadays that woman expects so much. I'm tired of dealing with this, but it is what it is. People need to understand you can't judge someone over something you can't control. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to pursue a relationship with her because I'm too insecure. <laughs> Now I'm not gonna pretend that I've got a giant fucking cucumber down my pants, so laughing at these people is... Admirable. <laughs> and I know this is a bunch of incels that don't know how to interact with people outside of uh, Reddit and staying up past 4am and with Doritos on their dick hole from jacking off to Overwatch porn for three hours every night and then going to their below paying minimum wage job to then come home and rant about how small their dick is and how unfair it is to have a small dick because they don't know how, uh, you know, how to interact and actually have an actual relationship and connection with somebody. But besides that point, let's move on to something else. Here's a tale! A girl that I really liked recently ghosted me after having sex. I'm always reminded about this magical phrase where it's, it's not the size, it's how you use it. Arguably speaking, if you have like a small M&M &M penis and you can't really jam it in full way through without, you know, breaking some sort of barriers, you might have a problem there. <laughs> but alas, away we go with this tale. We only had known each other for about three weeks, but we hit it off better than I have ever hit it off with a girl. She was funny, rare quality these days, if I'm honest. Jesus Christ. <laughs> was cute around me and took my jokes very well. She finally came over and we basically Netflix and chilled, but I was showing her Naruto for the first time. I think it might have been more than your penis that might have pushed her away. <laughs> she was 5'1", had D-cups, super cute face, 
and a pretty decent butt for clarification. To be fair, I believe she was out of my league, but... <laughs> but I was beginning to believe otherwise, and she seemed to be really enjoying spending time with me. We got down to business after my mum left, and everything seemed great. As someone who is below average, I've always been very good at telling if someone is fake moaning and all that. But she seemed like she was really enjoying it. Afterwards, everything was fine, and I actually felt good because I lasted around 15 to 20 minutes while going ham. <laughs> we continued Naruto, and I had no doubt in my mind that we would do it again fairly soon. The next day, she was very distant, and then... Then the day afterwards, she just left me on red multiple times and blocked me. I felt like it was my dick size because she mentioned that her last guy was 8 inch. And I already knew that I'll disappoint, but I tried my best anyways. I caught a reverse head and quit, and it really fucked me up. I just wanted to put this out there and get it off my chest. You know, there's a lot of red, giant red flags throughout this whole post that is, uh, not circling around your tiny little penis. Here's some indications. The way you're describing her, uh, watching Naruto, uh, lasting 15 to 20 minutes with going ham, I don't know. Personally, for me, that's like a quickie. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know how old you are, kid, but uh, if you're still living with your parents, it's probably also a red sign. I'll be honest. Another hit with the soy boys. I'm hoping this doesn't get taken down since it seems like the first post with my scenario. <laughs> This whole community is amazing. I've gotten my first girlfriend and we live in different states. We are meeting up sometime this summer. If Corona is behind us for a bit. And I'm terrified of having sex or her seeing my dick in person. Pictures are one thing because certain angles can do the right work. But God, I just cannot imagine it in real life. My girlfriend knows that I'm insecure and she says she would never change anything about me. But I can't help but doubt it. God. I was diagnosed with phimosis last March, which has been resolved, but my penis is extremely sensitive. And I believe I have what it is known as a buried penis. Oh, we're dealing with a fat boy. <laughs> yes, because of my fat pad above my penis. Seemed to cover up some size. I'm 17 years old. I shouldn't be reading this. <laughs> Around 190 and I'm between 5'9 and 5'10. I was thinking about getting a penis extender from eBay since the good ones are far too expensive for a 17 year old without a job. But I was not sure if maybe I still have some time for puberty to get one last spurt out. I was quite a late bloomer. What should I do? Should I try to work out, lose my fat pad? Fat pad. Fat pad. That's the most angelic two words put together I've ever heard. <laughs> boy oh boy. That kid is going down a really good path. I think we we might have found a demographic of what age we're going for here, but I also want- I saw another fat one. Any dicks. Any dicks. Any dicks is like a guy having a vagina at that point. Where you gotta- you gotta push the fat and then it plops out. I don't know why I know that. Uh, <laughs> does anybody else here have a dick so small that it's basically an any? When I'm flaccid, my dick seems like it actually goes inside my body to a point where just my foreskin can be seen as like a little circle on my crotch and can actually make peeing a bit messy if I'm not careful. It's really annoying and highly embarrassing but I've never seen anybody else mention it. And if anybody is wondering hard my dick is almost four inches on a good day, <laughs> that's a vagina! <laughs> I want to imagine this guy dating someone that has like an enlarged clitoris and then like him being really more self-secured about his really small any penis because uh you know that chick has got a dick in comparison huh hang on what's this one everyone's saying that penis size doesn't affect other aspects of life regardless of how successful he is in business and politics and art and science if he fails in the bedroom it is a total failure. Dr. Kragovsky on men's psychological state towards their penis and sexuality. Found this quote and wanted to share. Hi, yay, yay, yay. Ah. 
just because some loony doc said it, it means, uh, you know, it's true, it's a quote, it, you know. If your life is so surrounded about the idea of sex and uh, how small your penis is that you have to rearrange everything in your living situation to be happy with who you are physically, I feel like a lot of mental work has to be done first before you can improve yourself physically. But that's just my take on it. My father is hung, and my brother is average at least. That's... Art. So I've seen my father's penis, and he's huge, long, and very girthy. Shit! My little brother has always had successful women, so I'm guessing he's average at best. <laughs> also, when a picture of your common friend's penis was leaked, he commented on how it was small when it was bigger than mine. Then there's me. Sometimes I feel cursed. Being gay, sometimes I wonder if it's my gayness that caused this. But then again, every guy I've hooked up with is so much bigger than I am. Maybe it's my weight. I was pretty fat during puberty. I don't know. I used to want to have many kids. Now I don't know if I want any at all. Your description of your father's penis and you being gay really puts two and two together. <laughs> Won't go into that any more than I need to. Uh, <laughs> it seems to be a lot of teenagers in here, and I feel really uncomfortable reading about teenagers' small dicks. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> and I know that's my fault completely, but I don't know that. But I saw this. I really want to read this one. It's from a girl's perspective of uh, small dick. So let's let's have a read and see what it's like. Oh my god, this is a whole fucking novel. I want to date a guy with a small dick. This is an actual serious post. I think the best thing about communities like Reddit is we can just write and share what we want. I've decided to use that to try and find the type of relationship I want. I want to date a guy with a small penis because I have furbroids, non-cancerous growth in the uterus, and having sex with guys with an average dick hurts. I was with my ex for a while and sex hurts most of the time. Having furbroids also makes it hard to date because I'm worried if the guy has an average or big penis, the sex is going to be painful. So I think I should try and maybe dating someone with a small penis. Also it feels good if someone knows from the beginning I have furbroids. I figure we both have conditions we can't control and we should just put it out there and then it's not such a big deal. There is so much more to us than that. Uh, I'm glad someone gets it in the subreddit. However, I'm still a sexual person and think we can find a creative ways to have fun together. Uh, I of course do want to connect with somebody over the things I like and enjoy. I especially love movies. Sci-fi action is my favorite. Love anime. Grew up watching Dragon Ball Z. Love music. Rap and electronic are my favorite, but I respect for any good music. Enjoy funny TV shows. South Park, Simpsons, and Arrested. This is a guy. This is a guy. This is a man typing this. <laughs> Before COVID, I traveled very few months, so if we recently connect... What is this? A Miss Connections fucking Craigslist post? Hang on. Edit, this is not a scam. I get why people would think that, but you don't have to share any information you don't want. That's why I love, but that's what I love about Reddit. It's anonymous till you choose not to make it, so I'm just trying to find someone like all of you. Edit, thanks for making me cry, whoever flared this as scam. It took me a week to think about what to write and to put myself out there like this. It wasn't easy, and I don't know what I was hoping for, but not this, as I have to laugh because what's the point of continuing to be upset about it? <laughs> so let me guess. The small dick energy got in the way again, gosh damn it. Even when it was graced upon you to have this beautiful African goddess fallen from the heavens to be like, I am looking for someone with a small penis to to love me and and to pleasure me and I can pleasure them. Um and then it turns into I got a lot of hate from a lot of guys was angry that were angry because they got a small penis, so and they didn't believe I was real. <laughs> I mean, I didn't. I, it's it's the, uh, I like Star Wars and anime and South Park, which threw me off completely. Everything else, I would have believed. I don't think a male would write a whole essay saying that they want to date anybody on any other Reddit at all, unless they were a massive, really good troll. Well, I hope she finds what she's looking for, an angry guy with a small cock. So let's, let's have a look at a uh, other woman. My boyfriend is small and I don't know how to help him. Sorry for the weird name, Past I want small dick. 
I started dating an amazing guy eight months ago, but he is so ashamed of a small penis that it's affecting our relationship. At first I thought he didn't like me as much as I liked him, because he was all hot and cold. But after confronting him about his this behavior, he admitted it was because he had a small penis and was sure I'd leave him when I found out. Well, I didn't. I love him more than ever. This is the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. We became a couple right after this. But he always wants to have sex with the lights off. He never wants to shower with me or be naked around me in general. He always talks himself down. It's like he doesn't trust I love him as he is. I guess the shame is such a big part of him. I just want to ask if there is something I can do or say or absolutely shouldn't do to make him more comfortable. I accept him and I wish he accepted himself too. I find him to be sexy but how can I make him feel like this? Other than really enjoying sex with him, there are only one or two positions I don't think work for us. Because everything else is great. He is just below 3.5 inches, by the way. Now, I really hope a lot of the uh, small dick boys in this subreddit really pay attention to this. Because it's the whole point. I reckon this should be the pinned post in the subreddit. Because it just shows that you don't have to have a big dick to be in love with somebody. Alright? <laughs> Okay! <laughs> but you know, no one's gonna look in the mirror and be like, I'm gonna work on myself. Instead of just hating the world around me because it's everyone else's fault my deck is small. Oh boy, what a world we live in. <laughs> Yet again, laughing at other people's demise. I will one day not be a bully, but not today. I could honestly read this whole subreddit because it's fucking amazing <laughs> to watch people entirely miss the point of human interaction, sexual interaction, racial discrimination, <laughs> body shaming. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed me diving deep into the mindset of uh, people that are really insecure about their small penises and then they had to take it out on these current world issues uh, to feel like they are worth something in their lives. And if you're from that subreddit, please leave me a comment. Please, for the love of God, please, please. Leave me a, leave me a nice tasty comment. That'd be fucking funny. <laughs> I got a podcast, I got the Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. Find me, harass me, suspend me. Don't forget donation links are down in the description for the George Floyd stuff, uh, Black Lives Matter movement, and other donations are there. It's important that we don't ignore the real issues happening right now. And uh, let's build a better community and a better society together. Bye-bye!